Oh, man. What am I doing, man? So much music to review this week. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your man, Chef from Off the Dome. Back again for another video. And today, we'll be talking about... Hmm. We're going to talk about all these fishy shootings that have been happening lately. Young Thug, NBA Young Boy, and then we also have your boy um, Offset last week at the Atlanta shooting. Lil Wayne was almost set up at the... What's it called? Um... Roll up tour fest or whatever. I heard some theories about NBA Young Boy being set up by T Grizzly's entourage. I heard some rumors talking about Young Thug being set up by a former Migos or Lil Wayne affiliate. I heard rumors about Kodak Black getting arrested. Well, that's not a rumor he did. And that he was set up because he was trying to go to the festival. And they're saying that the feds are hosting the festival, trying to bring another black man down, trying to bring down the rappers, etc. I think even that's true. Even though if that was true, it wouldn't matter because we see it over and over again. A rapper dies almost every year in the rap game. And it seems like after last year's shootings, after the one a couple months ago with Nipsey Hussle, after all this drama circling around, it just seems like now is the time where more people's lives are in danger more than ever. People wonder why Lil Uzi Vert stays to himself. He stays in that rock mode. He stays in that weird zone. People wonder why people like Charles Gambino goes to act and do other things and trying to hurt you out the rap game. People wonder why Drake don't visit certain cities. People wonder why Kanye West doesn't do certain things. Well, this is a prime example why. Because when you get some money and come up, you try to come back to the South, come back to the North, or go to your hometown, do festivals for black people or others. You get results like this. NBA young boy being a young guy, I think he's only 18. Suppose we lost his life this week at the concert we're being shot at. Whatever beef him and T Grizzly may have, which I'm still not sure of is this. I mean, T Grizzly signs 300, which is an Atlantic owned label, and NBA Youngboy signed an Atlantic. I'm not really keen on that beef. I don't know if they have one. It might be a rumor that I just heard around. But in the grand scheme of things, I'm glad no one was hurt. You know, Offset getting shot at the studio in Atlanta. That ain't right. I mean, that ain't right at all. So. It's just too much going on, and it's hard to decipher what's real and what's not. And until we change the way the culture is made, we may have another rapper die this year other than Nipsey Hussle. And nobody might not want to hear this, but after seeing all this happen this week, I'm pretty convinced we might have two die. And it won't be overdose like Mike Miller. It won't be suicide. It might be murder. It's your boy Chef from Off the Dome. Sign out. Let me know what you think.